This is Michael Arellano with Latin Fusion TV. Today, Brandy Lopez is going to interview Patricia Sterla, the Latina voice for Garnier Hair Products. It's good for you, and it's good for the environment. Also, Brandy will interview Jonathan Joss as he gives us some of his secret recipes on how to wow your salad dressing. Jonathan Joss is also the voice of John Redcorn on King of the Hill. So stay tuned for more of Latin Fusion TV. We're Grunewald X. You're watching Latin Fusion TV. Yeah! Welcome back to Latin Fusion TV. Well, from beauty queen to a model and now a spokesperson, my guest today is Patricia Sterla. Welcome, Patricia. Thank How are you. you? Welcome pleasure to, my to be show. here. Let's talk about your career as a beauty queen. I held a few titles, and I was uh, Miss Italy in, in the world for the United States. I was Miss California USA contest, so and Latin model of the year. It's what it helped me a lot. I really enjoyed the entertainment. So, um, at what age did you become a model? Well, I started modeling at the age of 12. That's so right. I was doing commercials, I was doing photos, um, shows for Italy, for here, for LA. As a beauty and image expert, what tips can you share with us? There's a saying in Spanish, no hay mujer fea, pero mujer, mujer mal arreglada. There isn't, no woman is, is unattractive, she just doesn't take care of herself. I always recommend for every woman to really pay attention to her image and to take care of every little detail in her body. <laughs> in hair, I hear you. In, in hair products and, and, uh, and look, just looking beautiful all the time, no matter where she's going. I think that's a very important thing to do for ourselves and for others around us. And you never know who's going to come ring your doorbell. You just never know, exactly. <laughs> now as a spokesperson, the L'Oreal Garnier. Uh, from France and Garnier, Pure Clean is a new line that was launched this year. And these products are magnificent because they are biodegradable, meaning no residues, meaning natural antioxidants. They don't damage our hair, they're natural, and they don't damage the environment, which is the greatest thing about. When we think about beauty, we think about looking good, but we also have to think about our health and our ecosystem. Do you uh, recycle now, and did you recycle? I've always recycled, and by being part of this campaign, uh, we can certainly see how everybody else, like big names like Garnier, is getting involved in this brigade uh, of recycling, and we, it's actually called the Cleaner Cleaner World War, and that's what I'm here for also. You know, I use uh, Garnier. I do. I use the shampoo, the conditioner. And how do you? I love it. <laughs> I encourage everyone, all the Latinas, especially out there, to use it. Of course. And, the, the, and they're very affordable. Very That's affordable. Why is it that the shampoo bottle stands upward and the conditioner is upside down? You know, that is one of my questions that I have. I don't know if you, you know, have ever noticed that or question even questioned that. that. Uh, not really. <laughs> Let me tell you about the bottle. So, the container, they're actually, the plastic has been recycled. 50% mm -hmm. like 50 of the plastic is from PET or PET, which is a recyclable plastic. So, the bottle will be recycled. And in the bottle itself, so that whatever way upside down or you can easily read and read instructions on how to save the environment by uh, saving water as you're taking mm -hmm. a shower. The beauty of it is also that with the recycling, mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. You know what we have here. Yes. We're all, you know, these little, the little pebbles. pebbles. They're little they? pebbles made from recyclable uh, products. And these pebbles then turn into many items that we had this, for instance, it's a, a part of a bench. So whatever 
items can be recycled into basically anything. Bench, hard bench, which is amazing to think that that's made out of plastic that has been recycled. And then we have those little speakers there. What that is, it's the use of um, an actual packaging of an item is made into something else. That's called upcycling. And then recycling is converting things into the items that we would never think of. So by using products that have been recycled, we are um, healthy. For every item that we give to Terra Cycle, uh, to recycle, Garnier donates two cents for every item uh, to the charity of our choice. So that is very interesting and people can actually go and find out about recycling and the process of how easy everything is by going to GarnierUSA.com backslash pure clean. As women, as you know, we can't just wash and condition our hair and get out of the house and pretend everything's going to be wonderful. We do have to use <laughs> other products to protect the hair. These items are a very necessary and uh, at the same time that we're using them, we're protecting the hair and making it healthy. And the biodegradable products mean that they don't have dyes, they don't have silicone, they don't have anything that's damaging. Well, I'm very glad and very uh, pleased that I'm using Garnier, and I recommend everyone once again, all the Latinas out there. Of course, all the Latinas and the family of the Latinas. <laughs> yeah. That we can influence. Well, Patricia, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's a placer tenerte en mi programa. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, un placer. Don't go away, we'll be back with more on Latin Fusion TV. Welcome to Latin Fusion TV. My guest today is Jonathan Joss. Thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you so much for having me here tonight. You know, I'm excited because I know you're a native from San Antonio. Born and raised. McCullum High School. Go McCullum Cowboys. Uh, Our Lady of the Lake University. Let's go Armadillos. <laughs> well, today I know you now have the King of the Grill. We have uh, Red Corn's King of the Grill Massage Meat Rub and Cops. And we also have Red Corn's King of the Dill Pickle Fruit and Beverage Sauce. Okay. Now, what are you going to be facing for us today? It's going to be real, real simple. I'm going to, you know, with the heat of summer here. Um, I'm going to make a nice little green salad, but it's going to have a nice little depth to it. It's going to have a nice, nice, strong feeling. Uh, basically, I've taken what everyone knows as their thousand island dressing. Mm -hmm. But being a native individual, um, we like calling this wonderful earth of ours turtle life. So I've taken uh, what I've learned from my travels and created what I love to call uh, a turtle island dressing. Yeah, well, wonderful. So ask your questions, okay. and I'll just start doing some cool, cool stuff like cutting up our lettuce. Let's talk about um, your career as an athlete. Yes. Now, I know that uh, you have been very fortunate to uh, be on King of the Hill for 11 seasons. 11, 12 seasons, yes. How, you, how was it that you were blessed? It's, it's number one, just being able to, to have a mom who tells you what to do and how to do it, and uh, having that family support uh, that believes in you. And also, being from San Antonio, family's everything. Very true. Now, um, your character on King of the Hill. He's gone through so many changes. Uh, John Redcorn was, was, you know, had a relationship with Nancy, having a legitimate child. But we were able to, to take John Redcorn a little step further. Uh, if the show was still alive now, he probably would be cooking. How did that boost your career as? You know, as an actor on other films. It's, it's real simple. Being one of the, the only Native American voices in prime time needs it to be open to other roles, to other people, but it's a great flip the door. Um, while we're doing our little cooking, I know sometimes people don't like to cut onions. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of them. What I've discovered is that you, got, you, you, you don't want to be afraid to waste some onion. Save your onion later on for your stock. What I'll basically do is I'll just take a heel off of it. Give me a flat surface so I don't lose any fingers. Then what I'd like to do is just go ahead and take a little bit of the the outside layer skin of it. Let's get right into the heart of that shell. You can kind of smell it over there. So I bring it down. What I like to do is just cut some nice little simple grooves, but I keep the butt of the heel there. Because that gives me something to work with. Okay. And then we'll take it sideways and we just have a lot of room. You notice neither one of us are crying. 
The juices are kind of staying there because we're not completely driving it crazy. You got the heel of the shallot left. We're gonna save that later on for our stock. So always have your little stock bowl when you're cutting your veggies. So we're gonna throw that up in there. Same thing with our wonderful red pepper. You can take the front off. There you go. Remember, stock. Take the back off. Remember, stock. Don't worry, Mom, I'm not gonna throw this away. She's at home probably going, oh my God, he's wasting everything. And what I love to do is just kind of rolling that pepper over. And there you go. Everything's gone, everything's where you need to be. Take it over. Again, save it for your stock. Do not be afraid to waste some of your bell pepper. So, just taste it, take it along. We're making a real simple Maraquad, if you want to call it that. And you can also cut this, you know, thinner, larger, depending on your taste. I tend to like my things a little more diced, so I tend to get into a little bit more. And the idea of cutting things without cutting the finger. Is really One of the things I love to do with my veggies is to really kind of get those flavors out of them, get those waters to release. And that's where I throw in my red corn, king of the dill, pickle, fruit, and beverage spice. I usually just get that up on my, on my veggies. Don't be afraid to use it, you know. There we go. And you can also add the taste as you want later on. I call it my turtle island dressing. Again, I take my red corn, king of the grill, meat rub, and cob sprinkle. Why bam it when you can wow it? So here's a little bit of wow for you. You, go, you can just take it, you know, again, to your taste, to your taste. What we'll do is it will mix a little bit of our wonderful red corn, king of the grill, massage rub and get that those wonderful flavors and again with the liquid you add water to them add a little liquid to them and they just really start having fun so let's just sit that there for a second let it do its little thing so what I'll do is I'll add that to my wonderful turtle dressing this is where I turn into the turtle dressing if you're a fan of Texas like I am I'm a huge fan of our wonderful Ruby Ray grapefruit juice now again in any salad dressing you want to have the acids really be in there for you. So I'll add a little bit of this wonderful Texas Ruby Red Grapefruit. Then I'll add a little bit more. A lot of the salad dressings that you get in the store will have a lot of sugar in it. Uh, a traditional Thousand Island dressing is enough to get So basically what we're doing is wowing it up a little bit. That's nice. mm. All the flavors are just having fun in there. You've got, you've got your salt, you've got your garlic, you've got your secret red peppers from the red corn rub. You've got the dill pickle uh, salt in there for you. So what we'll do is we'll just plate this a little bit. You can feel free to mix this before you start if you like. It'll get a little limp for you. A lot of wowness there. Let's get all those little colors in there. Let's get all that going there. And what we'll do, by, this, by the magic of television, Mom's Park Bistro was nice enough to take some wonderful shrimp for us. They did a clarified butter, again, that I do with my wonderful, with the, with the red corn spice. Add our wonderful little shrimp to it. There we go. With our wonderful turtle island dressing. Then we'll just add a little bit of our salad dressing. Ooh. Oh, this is delicious. Wow. So, um, Jonathan, where can we find your spices at? You can go to jonathanjoss.com. We distribute our wonderful spice out of there. Don't go away, we'll be back with more. Looking for an audio visual repair doctor? Look no further. The Video Clinic is a full service repair facility for commercial and residential customers. Located at 1784 Austin Highway in San Antonio, Texas. Open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 6. The Video Clinic specializes in high definition repair and services most major brands, offering factory authorized repair on GE, Sonio, Sony, and more. For repairs on your Sony digital camera, your Pioneer home stereo, even your 60-inch flat screen, the Video Clinic is a name you can trust. With the quality workmanship you expect, feel at home where you are treated like family. The Video Clinic is home to your audio-visual repair needs. Just ask for Manny. Hey, this is Speedy Villanueva of El Grupo X. And Jesse Perales. And you're checking out Latin, Latin Fusion, Fusion TV. TV. Yeah. Because we didn't get enough of them on our last show, here's some more of those interviews with Grupo X. 
Mr. Hugo Guerrero. Well, thank I'm, you so much for being on Latin Fusion TV. Well, thank you for letting me be here with you guys. And, uh, of course, I'd like to thank everybody from Latin Fusion. I used to be the lead singer for Fandango USA. And if you heard the song, Charanga, and though you recognize. Let me ask you a question. I know you collaborated with several other artists. Name me a few of the artists that are also part of the CD, the album. I know a guy named Hugo Guerrero is also there. Oh, oh really? wait a minute. You know what? I've heard of him, Charanga. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, anyway, Speedy uh, is on the bass, and uh, Jesse, uh, he's out there. In case you don't know, he's over there. He's watching me. And uh, Randy Caballero and, uh, and uh, Paul, I'd like to thank all of them because all of them took part in esta colaboración, which is uh, the CD, and, and it came out really nice. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a nice production. You know, Give it a couple of notches. Uh, right, raise the, the bar a little bit more right. as far as uh, Tejano music is concerned. It's got rock in there. It's got a, a little bit of uh, a salsa, a little bit of Tejano in there. And, of course, with all the artists that are involved in here, it's got really, really nice touch and really nice colors yeah. to it. I, I noticed some of the fusion in one of the songs, En Mi Cama. Thank you so much for being on Latin Fusion TV. Thank you. And sharing with me and, of course, all the audience that are watching uh, national and international. So remember, look out for Project X. And I know that one of the places in San Antonio will probably be Jamie's record shop. Oh, of course. <laughs> Once again, muchas gracias, Hugo. Thank you. Randy Lopez, take care and God bless. Till next time. Don't go away, though. We'll be back with more of Project X Grupo X. That is amazing. That just gives you a little taste of what Mike Milligan yes. did with Grupo X. He is part of the, the album. Share with us, how was the experience? Uh, it was a great experience. I'd uh, say my friend, a uh, longtime friend, Randy Cavallero, called me on the phone and asked me if I would do this for these guys. And uh, I was honored that he asked me, and I was uh, very proud to do it. Now, which is the song that you are featured on uh, with your sounds of your great Uh The rendition of the uh, war song, uh, Low Rider. Low Rider. Yes. And how was that? Uh, hours and hours of work. Uh, well, it, it actually wasn't that long. It was, it's, it's, it's a song that I'm very familiar with and a group that I'm very familiar with. And uh, I just kind of jumped right in there and uh, did what they wanted me to do. And uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, and for how, long, how many years have you been in the music industry? Oh, man, uh, about 35 or more years I've been singing and playing. It, it seems like you just met some of the other artists. Yes, that's true. Oh, yeah. I mean, how was that? You know, how was that like for you to meet some of these other artists that you know are also great and they've been around in the music industry for many years? Actually, that was an extreme pleasure for me because I uh, heard the parts of the uh, CD when I was here doing the, doing the recording with Randy and say Randy's the only person I was really familiar with and, and uh, I was extremely proud to meet these guys because the work they've done is, is very good. It's, the album is really great and I like it a lot. Yeah, well we've heard it and we can hardly wait to hear the whole CD. So thank you once again, Mike, for being on Latin Fusion TV. We wish you all the best. Again, you are part of this project and what a great choice they made thank for you bringing very much. you in. Thank, thank you so much. See ya. <laughs> I am here with a very dear friend, Rick Fuentes, who is in the music industry, has been for many years. Me, what was your role with uh, Grupo X yeah. on this project? Yeah, I got to, uh, of course, Randy Caballero and Speedy and the guys, they're old friends of ours from a long time ago since uh, they were with La Mafia and all that. Um, but I came in, Randy asked me, he said, come and do some guitar tracks. And I came in one day and laid down acoustic uh, rhythm guitar on, on a few songs. And um, and then one night he asked, uh, "Come sing a song, you know, Pa que me sirve la vida." I'm like, "What? Are you sure?" I said, "Okay." How do you see the fans? Uh, what their reaction is going to be once they now get to hear it? Yeah, I think everybody's going to enjoy the music and the fact that you have Hugo Guerrero on there, Jesse Perales, Speedy, Randy, uh, Ruben Ramos sings a song on there. Uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna generate some noise and I think it's gonna do very well. Do you suppose that the fans and and all the people out there are just gonna 
get out there and, and really enjoy this because it's something different. Yeah. Well, it's something different because it's something from the heart. Now, Rick, being in the music industry for so many years, who was your influence? Oh, well, my, my dad was my biggest influence. He had the band Brown Express in the late 70s, early 80s. He was my biggest influence. He played the accordion and keyboards. But I grew up listening to like Conjunto Bernal, Los Chachos, and mm -hmm. that's kind of where my accordion playing, that's where my influence uh, came from. Yeah. Now, what can we expect of Rick Puentes in the future? You can expect to, to hear something soon, you know. Uh, I think uh, uh, I owe it to, to my dad and uh, to bring back uh, his band one day, Brown Express. But yeah. Now, any word of advice to the new uh, up-and-coming artists? Uh, keep going, you know. Keep, uh, let's keep our music going, you know. And, and I like to ask our parents and grandparents to, to continue playing our music uh, in front of the kids, you know. And I think the support of uh, everyone out there is very important because I know just all the artists work so hard for many hours on the music oh, yeah. and just to put something out there that is going to be great, going to be appealing to all our uh, the ears, all the ears yeah. out there. So again, continue supporting the music industry of all genres. This is Rick Fuentes right here on Latin Fusion TV. Well, as always, we save the best for last. And right here with me is the Don, El Gato Negro, Ruben Ramos. Welcome to Latin Fusion TV. Boy, thank you. It's good to be here, and it's good to be part of uh, that uh, project, Project X. You know, because we're a bunch of friends. You know, Speedy to Randy uh, to all the guys. You know, and it's great to be. You know, I need to come and sing a couple, two, three lines in the song. I'm there, so it's good. They're good people. For what legacy do you want to leave? It's the man that loved his fans and, uh, you know, cared for his fans and and uh, was always uh, appreciative of uh, the people that supported me and my band. And One of the greatest things that you have done is open doors. Uh, the young generation that respect you and love you. If I show or if I open doors of some some other new groups, you know, I'm... I'm Glad, you know, that I'm doing something. Yes, and not only, you know, you support the music industry, but you also give back to the community uh, here in Austin, also in San Antonio, and you're getting ready for your next uh, celebrity golf tournament. Right. Now, one more time, Ruben, give us, uh, let everyone know on your celebrity golf tournament. Okay, my celebrity golf tournament is going to be July the 25th. July the 25th at Wood Lake. Uh, golf course in uh, San Antonio. But they can I'm always going. go to your website. They can go to my website. Go to www.rendramos.com Thank you so much. You're welcome. The man of the hour, El Gato Negro, the one and only, Ruben Ramos. God bless you. God bless it's you. It's great seeing you again. Well, it's great to be alive. <laughs> right? That's what I say. Till next time, take care and God bless. Ciao. Hey, this is Michael Ariano. We hope you enjoyed your Father's Day. Be safe this 4th of July. This is Latin Fusion TV from Sam's Burger Joint. For good food, great music, and the best tater tots in San Antonio. Sam's Burger Joint on Broadway. This is Michael Ariano out with Latin Fusion TV.